Hey Scorpio, I, um, I'm here to do a quick reading for you until um, October 1st, but just remember that time is fluid. It may not be till October 1st. This could be something that happened in the past. It could be something that will happen after October 1st. Um, but we try to, you know, set the intentions generally for a certain time frame, so to speak. Um, if you do like the video, hit the thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe. I love you guys. Um, I try to answer all comments and, and answer questions and, you know, even drop me an email. I, I so appreciate hearing from you guys. So let's get on with, with the reading and uh, we'll see what's going on. Okay, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. What messages do you have for the sign of Scorpio, please, from now until October 1st, 2020? What does Scorpio need to know? Thank you. Got the Ace of Pentacles, Scorpio. Nice. What does Scorpio need to know from now until October 1st, 2020, please? Scorpio. Thank you. Scorpio. Ooh, we got a flyer. Hold on, guys. Okay. Scorpio, somebody's coming in, I believe, to uh, offer you either a brand new job, <clears throat> excuse me, either a, brand, a beginning with a brand new job, or um, somebody is coming in to offer you a brand new start, stable start, stability. Um, I feel like right now you're going to be holding back a little bit. Um, maybe you're just a little unsure of uh, whether or not you should take take this offer or this is coming in so I I believe it, it could be job related um, and you know it may not the videos don't resonate with every person unfortunately I wish I was able to read for every person but um, we do have Pentacles here so you know, 75% or whatever, the 33 and a third percent is with the pentacles. And that leads me to believe that it could be job related or money related. Um, I do feel like you are holding back though. And this, this offer that's going to be given to you is going to be given in a way that you're going to really have to think about it because it's going to sound really good. Let's let's pull some clarifiers and see here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do you have for Scorpio? Can you please clarify and verify the cards on the table for this reading for Scorpio from now until October 1st, 2020, please? Okay, Ace of Pentacles, thank you. The Four of Pentacles, thank you. Oh, two popped out, we'll take them. And the Page of, the page of Rods, thank you. Okay. All right, Scorpio, I feel like whether this is work or, or um, love related or maybe family related, personal related, um, I feel like this, this offer that's going to be coming in, it's, it's really going to um, have you, it's going to have you really wondering like what, you're afraid that you're going to get hurt by this. You're afraid that whatever if you if this is personal if this is revol uh, involving a person you're afraid that you're going to get hurt and you're holding back from accepting that offer um with it 
four of pentacles you also have the knight of cups this this knight is coming in showing so much love um i mean in this picture this knight of cups he's holding roses he's rose uh, ro rosing he's holding a bouquet of flowers with more flowers at his feet and underneath that is the ace of wands the ace of rods so somebody now i believe this could actually be a person personal uh relationship type of uh situation that will be coming in for you this this knight of cups is coming in and he's he wants to offer you stability he want he or she i'm sorry there's no gender in tarot so he or she wants to offer stability um and with the ace of rods here a, a passionate new beginning um i feel like you know you're going to be holding back you're you're actually afraid of being hurt you have the two of swords you're you're guarded you're guarded you're wondering i mean look at how this guy look at how he's walking away he's walking away from the moon he's walking away from the swords you want to believe this person you want to um accept that offer but you're you're still kind of holding back you're not you're not quite there i don't know if there was a relationship in the past with this specific person um i'm going to pull a couple more cards okay spirit what else can you tell scorpio regarding this reading thank you all right you have the six of swords so this is this is saying that you're going to want to move on to cal calmer waters. I don't know if maybe this situation might make you feel as if it's just too much to handle. Um, I'm getting like, I feel like if you might feel if, if you accept this, it, there's a lot of drama attached to it. And, you know, I don't even see that in the cards. It's just a feeling inside. But let me pull a couple of more. Spirit, what else can you tell Scorpio? What else can you tell Scorpio? Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Thank you. Okay, you have the nine of the nine of cups. You I feel like this person makes you happy, but I feel like you're fearful of accepting this offer. Underneath the deck, the ten of swords. You're afraid you're going to get hurt. I I and the lovers. You were hurt in the past deeply. You were hurt in the past deeply. And now you're definitely guarded. You have to go. You have to go somewhere quiet, I'm feeling. Look at things from a different perspective. Not every relationship is going to be a tower moment and i i really feel yeah, underneath that you have the sun and the ten of pentacles all right scorpio listen there's an offer that will be coming in for some of you this offer is offering you stability a passionate new beginning a lot of love with the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Lovers. This tower could be a shocking moment for you. Or this is something from the past where you have been hurt. And with that, you're very guarded. 
and you're very unsure, you're guarding your heart here. What I suggest is go within, take all the time you need. If this person loves you, they will understand. Um, but definitely go within and just remember one bad apple does not spoil the whole bunch um, if you were hurt in the past. Let me get some advice for you, Scorpio. Spirits, what advice can you give Scorpio, please, for this week until October 1st? What advice can you give Scorpio regarding this reading until October 1st, please? Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. Don't forget that, Scorpio. Just because someone hurt you in the past does not necessarily mean that the next person will do the same. I feel like you are protected at this time. And I feel like with the cards that came out, go within and think about it. Now, obviously, if this is someone returning from your past who did some really nasty things or, you know, you know, you know deep within that this is not good, of course, don't accept this offer. But if this is someone new coming in and you want to accept the offer, but you're just feeling held back, think about it, weigh out the pros and cons and take your time with it. There, there's no rush. There's no rush. It's your life. So Scorpio, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed, please do so. I love all you guys. I appreciate all you guys. And leave a comment if this resonates with you. I'm really curious. So have a good week until October 1st, but I will see you soon. Bye-bye.